The fate of a bill that would provide assistance to veterans impacted by burn pits while serving overseas is still very much up in the air tonight. This after Congress voted against what's known as the PACT Act. News 19's Nate Stanley tells us more. What I wanted to do ever since I was little. Jay Peoples is a combat veteran that served in the U.S. Army from 2001 to 2004. In 2003, Peoples was sent to Iraq to work in air defense. During his time on base, Peoples worked in close proximity to burn pits. He says these were pits that service members would use to burn piles of trash and human waste that would be lit on fire with jet fuel. With his close proximity to these pits, Peoples says he eventually began developing medical problems. Rhinitis, it's an irritant of the nose and... You're breathing some sinusitis, often reoccurring um, sinus infections. The promise to address Comprehensive Toxins Act, or PACT, has been making its way through Congress. It would provide resources to veterans who are in similar medical situations as people's. The bill would require that the VA provide medical care and resources for veterans who were exposed to these toxic fumes. However, with a vote of 55 yeas and 44 nays, the bill failed to pass the three-fifths majority required. South Carolina senators were split in voting. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham was one of the eight Republicans that voted in favor of passing the bill. As a spokesperson from his office said in a statement, Senator Graham agrees with the underlying mission of the bill, which is to care for veterans exposed to toxic material in service of their country. Republican Tim Scott voted against the bill. His spokesperson tells News 19 in part, Senator Tim Scott is a strong supporter of our veterans and has advocated for more resources for them throughout his career. Unfortunately, this bill currently includes $400 billion in extra spending unrelated to our veterans. Peoples now runs a Facebook group for veterans and has been following the bill closely along with his fellow veterans. He is hopeful it passes so veterans like him can get proper diagnoses and resources. I mean, we got veterans dying left and right. And some of them are from stuff they have no idea what it's even from. Reporting in Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. Well, Graham's team adds that Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer will need to work out details and represent it in the future.